and then Nemesis is back. Welcome all you infidels, Kufars and Muslims. Right, so Nali Akbar uh, going on now. He says he wants to talk about one thing at a time. Sharia we can talk about later. Uh, he asked me very clearly now, if not puberty, what other sign is there that a woman is ready to get married? Right, that is his first question to me. Which is fine, I'll answer that. That's not a problem. Uh, I agree that we are talking about two separate things when we're discussing my claim that Muhammad was a paedophile and my claim that Sharia allows Muslim men to engage in acts of paedophilia. However, these two issues are inextricably linked and have real relevance to have real relevance, one which needs more detailed analysis. You will also find that my opinion is supported by the rule of law and psychiatric evaluation. Whether or not your God agrees with me is the subject that is currently under discussion in this debate. May I also point out that marriage is not a necessity for procreation, it's more of a moral cultural prerequisite. Could you please be a little more clear on what exactly you mean by menstruating and puberty by defining them in the context of our debate? I'm happy for us to just talk about my claim of my hand is a paedophile until we come to a satisfactory conclusion then we can move on to Sharia I have no problem with that at all so can't be any clearer than that uh, Muslim since 2000 he stalked me on this page because he got a little bit upset can't understand why anyway uh, if we carry on to page 9 and right he asked me what the signs are for one to deduce when a female is ready for marriage. Right, I'm happy to answer. I truly believe there is a number of factors that need to be considered to ascertain whether a female is ready for the commitment of marriage and the responsibilities that go with that commitment. I believe there should be four stages that would define when a female is ready for marriage. Firstly, is physiological maturity, i.e. when the body is mature enough. Two, uh, mental maturity. Three, emotional maturity, and four, cognitive maturity. Right? I believe all these factors are a prerequisite in ascertaining whether or not a female is ready for marriage and the responsibilities that go with it. I can't be any clearer than that. So, um, right. I think that was it for that page. We'll move on to the next one. Page eight. Uh, I don't actually, it might not be this page. No, page seven, do beg my pardon. Right, so, and um, move up the page. Right, he agrees. Uh, he says that I agree that we're talking about two different things, which I do. Yet instead of understanding the differences, you bring back your opinions. You said we would discuss this rationally, and when I suggested we approach the topic of determining what is the sign of a woman's readiness for marriage, you change the topic to another loop. I program loops all day, and I don't like talking loops. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not talking about in loops. I'm sticking to the subject, right? I've told you what I define as being... Uh, a w what defines a, a woman being mature enough to, you know, become a married person and then take the commitments of that marriage on, you know, sexual intercourse including in that. So, um, I don't know where he's going with this, but, um, yeah, I'm talking in loops. I said one of the purposes of marriage is procreation. You made it sound as if it was the only reason for marriage. I was just being facetious, to be honest. Do apologise. Uh, how are we to have a logical discussion when, simple, when in simple English you can't understand or, should I say, refuse to understand? If we can't understand what makes a woman marriage ready, even sleeping with a 50-year-old can be considered paedophilia. So my original question is, what makes a woman marriage ready according to religion, not your opinion? That's not what you said. You asked me what makes a woman ready for marriage. That's what you asked me. I'll give you the answer. Right. He goes on to say that my definition is as vague as the colour of oranges, but let's use them. Physiological maturity, meaning ready to produce children in this case. No, it actually means, physiological maturity means when the body is mature. Right, when a girl hits puberty, that is not a sign of physiological maturity. Make that perfectly clear to you. Uh, he goes on to say, "Does the girl at her puberty have the? Uh, does the girl at her puberty age have this ability? Yes, yes. Sometimes they do. A lot of the time they don't. 
But uh, two, mental maturity. How exactly does one measure this? I can take you to meet some women. At, <laughs> I can take you to meet some women that they are worse than a kid when making decisions. So what is the measuring stick for this? At the age of eight, I had the responsibility of my family's farm. Does that factor in? If it does, then you have to agree that back, <laughs> back when there was no waste of time, school kids were side by side with parents in whatever trade, therefore would have gained that maturity. <coughs> no, not necessarily. I'll go on to prove that as well. Emotional maturity, again back to my examples before, how do we measure that? I would say via experiences, and if the experience is marriage at the age of puberty, then emotionally a woman would be ready for that. Just like in America, we are told at the age of 21 you can drink. Most non-religious people at the age of 21 drink until they pass out because of the emotional exception of it. Cognitive maturity, meaning that they can make sound decisions. Back to my example, I think at the age of eight I was able to make sound decisions or, or we would have had a lot of malnourished animals on our farm or dead plants. Well, I'm sorry, but feeding fucking goats, right, does not mean that you are responsible to get a young girl up the stick and then make her carry a child and then you are then mature enough to actually bring that child into the world. You're a child yourself at the age of eight, and I will prove this, right? So no, you're not you have no cognitive mature maturation at all at that age, and I will prove that. Right, so from my experience, he says, and your definition at the age of eight, I would have been ready to be married. No, don't put words in my mouth. I would not agree with that at all. He goes on to say, if your argument is fair and logical, I don't see why we can't reproduce it here, right? Uh, I think I did actually miss one comment off there, but in all honesty, those two previous comments that I've just read to you, he's forgot to post on my page anyway, so it's a slight deviation from the sub subject in hand, but please, I encourage people to go to my page and have a look at this discussion on my page and see exactly what I'm talking about, because in all honesty, it's no different to what I'm talking about here. In fact, it's exactly the same. So anyway, we'll go on to page six. And further on. Right, um, a bit further up the page here. Right, I've quoted him his own, his own words here to me, right? Uh, and that was on the 3rd of the 3rd. Now, let's talk about one thing at a time. Sharia, we can talk later. My question about this is, if not puberty, what other sign is there that a woman is ready to get married? Right? That's what he said. What other sign is there that a woman is ready to get married? I've given him the four reasons, right, to ascertain whether a female is ready for marriage and the act of sexual intercourse. Physiological maturity, mental maturity, emotional maturity, and cognitive maturity. Now, for our logical, reasonable debate to carry on, I want him to answer my questions, because he still hasn't answered them, right? What was the age of your great-grandfather? Right, he, he mentioned that the age of nine is not the earliest age for which a girl can be penetrated, because you say it's when she arrives at puberty. So, can a girl who is younger than nine years of age have sexual intercourse with a Muslim man? And how do you view Sharia? Is it a good way to, read li uh, to lead life by following Sharia? I can't be clearer than this, but again, we've got, we're going into the evasion part of the Muslim defence mechanism. Right. I am then quoted him again on the 3rd of the 3rd, 08. Right, I do hope we can keep this debate logical now. You know we are talking about two different things. I hope you can understand this. You started off by saying in your opinion this is wrong. Now I started off by saying that God allowed a, mo a woman to bear children from the age of puberty. And therefore she is ready for marriage. One of the purposes of marriage is to procreate. This is a sign that a woman is ready for consummating a marriage which can lead to procreation. And I hope I'm clear about puberty and not menstruating because outside of the periods there are other things involved with puberty like the darkening of the hair etc right in response to his comment below i asked him another question could you please be a little more clear on what exactly you mean by menstruating and puberty by defining them in the context of our debate you haven't answered right he hasn't answered again Posted him his own words. Let's talk about one thing at a time, shall we? You can talk about later. If not puberty, what other sign is there that a woman is ready to get married? That's what he asked me. Right? And then he, he changes his question. Right? I answered you. This was your original question. This one here. 
regarding marriage. Now you say, if we can't understand what makes a woman marriage ready, even sleeping with a 50-year-old can be considered paedophilia. So my original questions, what makes a woman marriage ready according to religion, not your opinion, right? As I've said, this is your revised question, and I'll be happy to answer and expand on your comments, but only when you can address my questions by answering them. And could you post your answers on my page too? Thank you very much.